Hey guys, just a, a quick little update for you so I could see you face, well, you see me face to face. And I wanted to apologize that my, um, this week's Saturday chat was not <clears throat> face to face, excuse me, as it usually is. So I wanted to, to just do this quick upload. Um, as you can see, I finally found some time to color my hair. Get the. I'm working on towards a darker. This is a burgundy. And um, I'm trying to work towards just a little uh, darker <clears throat> shade. Um, more towards a purplish, dark purplish, purple red um, kind of shade. But this is what I have to work with right now. And um, so, yeah, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so, anywho, um, yeah, still no signs of my landlord moving. He's away. Right now, he's been, like, disappearing on the weekends, which is good, you know, for me. But, um, <clears throat> I feel like I was lied to again. Uh, last week, he told me he was getting his trailer, and I haven't seen it. I haven't seen him pull up with the trailer. Um, I haven't seen him, any signs of him moving anything out, nothing like that. In the meantime, I have taking on more bills as if I need that. Um, <clears throat> and I've taken over the responsibility of the yard maintenance. And um, right now he's costing me money by living here. Yep. Um, as uh, I pay for all the electric. And, uh, and he uses quite a bit. And so... Um, can he not feel I mean how can any normal person not feel bad about what he's doing you know I, I don't get it like at this point he's just taking advantage of me um so I don't know <clears throat> I do think as of I do think tomorrow I'm going to have to contact my lawyer and just push it through so he has to leave. Uh, I was hoping it wouldn't come to that um, because he made me think he was leaving on his own and I was seeing no signs of it. So I think it was just a delay tactic. Uh, so yeah. Yep, something's got to be done. <clears throat> Um, you know, I would like to enjoy the rest of my time here, <clears throat> excuse me, at the house, uh, without him being here. I mean, my yard is completely unusual. Let me turn the camera around, just show you what I see when I look out the window of my desk, okay? Can you guys see that, that junk, whatever that stuff is, sitting outside the shed? Yeah, all that is his. All that stuff, those yellow bug balls or whatever hanging from the tree, that's his. All that stuff around that tree right there, his. Those blue barrels he used a couple of years ago to grow stuff, he's got two of them out there. And they just got weeds growing in them now or just whatever. They're just taking up space. They look terrible. So <clears throat> that's just part of what I'm dealing with right now. I can't use the backyard at all. And now he is just costing me money by using my electricity. And, you know, and I'm really not usually the one, you know, I'm, I'm usually very easygoing. You know, very, <sighs> kind of go with the flow. But this is someone that I made the mistake of trusting. Um... And I shouldn't have, but, and I'm so glad best move I ever made was making him sign a lease 
Because it wasn't his intention to do so, because then he could just, you know, there would be no written agreement, and I would be SOL. Um, but because there's a lease, he's bound by it. <clears throat> and he has no legal grounds to stand on for him being here. And I've been nice. I mean, I mean, guys, look, he, he wasn't thinking twice last March about trying to put me out. Um, and that's when I got my lawyer. So th this thing has been going on with me trying to get him out since March. So April, May, June, July, August. So now we're, it's been six months, um, almost six months now that he knows I want him to move. And he hasn't yet. So I, I, I'm going to have to just move this ball forward myself. Anyways, I'm just venting because <laughs> I'm a little angry. Um, I don't like that I'm angry. I want to just live in peace, you know. And it's very hard to do right now. Uh, and it does affect my daycare. It does affect my business with him living here. Um, you know, when parents come to do their interview, you know, they take a look at the yard. And they see all that crap out there. Uh, you know. You know, I don't... My... I, you know, I deal with depression. I don't think it's... Coming back, I mean, I think right now, my I mean, my anti-anxiety pills are working, but I think right now I'm just, I'm feeling used. I am feeling, um, yeah, I'm feeling used. And I should not feel bad. I have to keep telling myself this over and over. I should not feel bad for doing what's right by me and my business. My landlord should not be living in my garage. Um, I should not feel bad for having to seek legal action to get him out. I shouldn't feel bad for that. I don't know if it comes with age, but, you know, there's a certain point, I think, in everybody's life where they just get to where I'm not going to take it anymore. I th and I think that point comes when you realize life is short and you there's there's no time to mess around. There's no time to let people walk all over you and run over you and disrespect you. You know, um, and make you feel less than. Nobody should have to live like that. And you don't really, I don't think you really come to realize that you have a right to live your life the way you want and defend it until you reach a certain age of, you know, um, forgive my language here, but, you know, when you've given all your fucks and... You just aren't going to do it anymore. And that's where I am in my life. Lord knows I've had to fight for everything that I have. I've had to fight. I've had to scrimp. I've had to scrape. I've had to claw my way just to survive. And when I see someone like him taking total advantage of me, it just gets me, you know, and, and him not seeing anything wrong with it. And now I feel like I'm being lied to as a delay tactic. And I'm not buying it. So. I don't know what he's doing or how he's spending his weekends away from here, but he needs to be spinning them, packing up, and leaving. <sighs> <laughs> I'm 
anyways. Thank you for listening to the rant. I know things are going to get better. I know they are. And I know once he's finally gone, I'm going to feel so much better. Um, we'll be doing a lot of videos out back. And I'm looking forward to that. I'll get to hang out out back with my family. I'll get to have, you know, fire, sit out by the fire, you know. I'm looking forward to that, and I want that. And for me to really relax, he needs to leave. Why am I paying rent? You know? Well, guys, so I'm watching The Crown. I saw some of the Queen's... Um, I watched as much of the... I guess her trip back to Edinburgh, back to Scotland today. I watched some of that in um, on the Royal Family's YouTube channel. And uh, at some point, they just stopped televising it. So I guess maybe we weren't allowed to see past a certain point. But it was a beautiful, um, very respectful, very quiet. Um, until the very end, people were clapping. Um, and, uh, for the most part, the chat was respectful. There was some people saying some nasty, mean things, and it doesn't matter what you think of her. If, if you, you know, when you're watching something like that, that, that's not the time to be hateful or mean or disrespectful to those people who are mourning her. That's somebody's mom, you know, not just a queen. That's somebody's mom, you know, <clears throat> somebody's grandmother. And <clears throat> if, if you don't like her as the queen... Respect that that's someone's dear loved one that they've just lost. At least that, you know. And, oh, Cobra Kai is back now. Season 5 of Cobra Kai. And I started watching that last night, too. I think that's it's going to be, from what I've seen so far, it's going to be an excellent season. Um, don't tell me anything. Don't give anything away. Uh, I guess that's it. You know, I usually do the face-to-face -face thing with you guys, and I didn't do the face-to-face -face yesterday, and so I apologize for that. So that's why I jumped on here just now and um, and to um, to apologize for that. And to uh, also uh, just, I guess I needed to vent a little bit. <laughs> so... We are, Sandy and I, we'll see you. Sandy, you want to say hi? You want to say hi? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> you want to say hi? <laughs> say hi. Say hi. <laughs> okay. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.